Do you have a VTEC? VTEC love. Welcome to another episode of Bro Talks. Um, on this episode, um, you might find some background noise. That's because my little one is joining me on this video. Um, and we're going to talk about the FN2 um, being a good daily car, family car. Uh, I know that the comment that one in the previous was basically Daniel asking me uh, how much I spend on road tax. And, and tires and stuff like that. Uh, so I've, I thought that probably talking about the FN2 as a daily car would be a much better option. Um, so this is again, this is my opinion only. So uh, obviously you guys are entitled to your own opinion. And let me know in the comments below what you think about the FN2 as a daily. Um, I'm gonna give you my experience. Oh, my opinion based on my experience um, and uh, bear in mind that this is not my daily car as such uh, I got another car which is a diesel that uh, basically is my daily car and there's a re reason behind that so uh, so let's go straight to the question if you ask me if the FN2 is a good daily car I will say yes uh, it is a good daily car because you got plenty of space in the boot, which is also always a must um, when you got a family, uh, so you can put the, everything that you need in the boot. And the ride is not too bad. I mean, if you think about it, this is a sporty car, a sport car. So um, the the ride is not too bad, and if you stick some 17s, uh, it, it gets better as well. So. Um, it's a good car. Um, now, fuel. I mean, it's not great. The MPGs on this car are not great. You can vary from 25 to 35, depending on your driving or what kind of uh, roads you're going to. Obviously, you'll do much better on motorway than you'll do on uh, um, V roads or town or going through the towns and stuff like that. Um, but yes, it's good. The question you need to ask yourself is, right, how many miles per day, realistically, you're gonna drive it? Because if, it's, if this is not only your daily car, but you also, it's also your commuting car, and let's say you're doing an average of 70 to 100 miles um, per day, or even more, then I would say this is not the best car for it um, and the reason being is although you get all the comforts of a, a modern niche car aircon um, you can get a, a doubled in very easily uh, as I said it's not super harsh on the right so it's bearable in my opinion although if you look about if you think about like a, a super um, comfy car then this is not the car for you and it's not meant to be let's face it this is supposed to be a race slash family car it's still an odd hatch um, but for for the generic things it's still a, a good car so again as I said if you're doing uh, so many miles then this is not probably the car for you because you can get uh, for the same price, uh, cars that can do much better on a fuel consumption uh, and let's face it, much more uh, comfy than this car is. But again, this is a Type R. It's, it's meant to be a bit hard because it's supposed to go on bends and do it uh, as it's supposed to be. It's a kind of a, a race car as such. Um, so if you want to throw it on the bend, you, you can do it. I would say it's a good daily car, but if you, but it's not a a good commuter car in my opinion, uh, because of the comfort for longer journeys. Because this is back of seats. Let's face it, it's not going to be uh, as comfy as, as your leather seats, heated seats, and so for, and so ever. So yeah, it's it's not uh, a car that you can put some. Uh, uh, 
extensive miles on it or go for extensive journeys every single day. Um, the other thing you need to think about it is uh, obviously um, fuel because the prices in petrol are going up. Um, so getting an hybrid or a petrol car for small journeys um, or someone that is a bit more MPG friendly is a good option or if you're doing uh, long journeys as I said long commutes then get a diesel because that's what the diesels were meant to again road tax road tax on these are quite expensive in my opinion taking consideration the year that they came off um, they are quite expensive I think it's 300 something 320 I'll um, I'll just double check that and I'll put it on the on the, um, on the video which is quite expensive I mean my wife drives the Suzuki Swift um, 2014 is a 1.2 and well she's a nurse so it's, all she needs is basically a, a commuter car just to take it A to B and, uh, and B to A basically and the car drives brilliantly so uh, it's, it's one of them is get a small car with a small engine is probably better than anything else and she pays uh, 30 pounds on road tax so it's quite decent uh, I own a 2003 Clio which is a 1.5 diesel engine and the reason why I used it is because my commute is quite small we're, talk we're talking about 12 miles each way so yeah about 24 miles uh, every day which is pretty much nothing but um, I use the car for other things so when I'm doing gardening and stuff like that I don't bother what I'm sticking in the car you know what I mean I used the car because uh, or I bought that car it was quite cheap to be honest uh, there was an issue with it I fixed it and um, I fixed the issue and it is doing brilliant to be honest it's doing 60 plus uh, miles per gallon which is perfect it's a diesel car and uh, as I said I don't bother what I don't bother where I park the car I don't bother what I stick into the car um, I, it's, it's still the car that I used to take my son to the nursery and back uh, and uh, is the car I, basically I use it on winters because I don't drive this car on winter so is for me it's a no-brainer to have a, a cheap second car to be honest uh, so this basically is my weekend toy that's pretty much the video for me uh, let me know in the comments uh, what do you think uh, if you consider the FN2 a good daily or not um, if you're not dealing your Civic uh, what other car do you use for dealing it let me know in the comments uh, what do you think should be the next uh, subject that we should talk about um, because it really helps for me to do these videos because sometimes I spend more time thinking what what will the guys enjoy it more and uh, what is actually necessary to talk about it um, so if you guys leave in the comments below what you want me to talk next will be much appreciated um, all is Thank you very much for your support. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. And yeah, I think we'll end up this video here. It is always a, a pleasure to do this video for you. I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'm getting a bit more comfortable with that. So thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.